Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, in this session, uh, we will discuss uh, exercise 15.12, or uh, that is exam exercise for chapter number 15. And that is topic of integration and uh, very important uh, for IGCSE and O level uh, additional mathematics course. And uh, let's start this exercise. Question number one: We have uh, given that y is equal to e power x square and we have to find dy by dx in the part a in the part b we have to uh, use uh, part a to find this uh, integration and uh, then evaluate uh, this integration with some limits first we'll start this ex uh, question number uh, one uh, this is uh, y is equal to e power x square divided by dx is given as this is e power x square and then x square will be differentiated so this is 2x so this is 2x e power x square so this is dy by dx is uh, 2x e power x square so if we integrate this dy by dx 2x e power x square this 2 is uh, eliminated uh, is taken out from the integration side and then it can easily be solved so this 2x e power x if we divide this 2x e power x by 2 then we can take out this 2 outside this denominator 2 and then 2x e power x square is can be uh, write down as e power x square so this integration part is e power x square and this half is here so this is plus c so because uh, there is some uh, integration constants so this is c uh, in a part c if we have this uh, integration value if we put some limits here upper and lower bonds this is lower bond and this upper limits and lower limits 0 to 2 then we can evaluate it this is half e power 2 2 here 2 and then 2 and then 0 and power 2 so this is e power 4 and this is e power 0 is 1 so e power 4 minus 1 so this is part a let's solve part Find, uh, let's solve question number 3 find uh, integration 1 minus 6 by x square dx so we have to find this integration and hence find the value of the positive constant k for which this is equal to 2 so solve question number 3 Here we have this integration 1 minus 6 over x square dx and we have to evaluate it. So this is this part is x and this is 6. Uh, x uh, goes upside minus 2 and then plus 1 due to integration and the denominator minus 2 plus 1. And finally the constant term here. So on simplification we obtain this. In a B part uh, we have this uh, limits is k and this is 3k. So this integration value is this is equals to 2 this is given in part b so if this is 2 we will substitute the values upper and lower limits because uh, this integration is in this form so x plus 6 upon x and upper and lower limits and on simplification we have obtained this and from this we have obtained k is equal to 2 or minus 1 so this is part b question number this question number 3 now let's solve the question number 4 the diagram part shows um, so 
the part of the curve y is equal to x sin x square minus uh, x cube which meets the x axis meets the x axis at the origin here and uh, and at the point a and the line this line passes through the a this point a and meets the y axis at point b here so we have this upper curve and this lower curve uh, covered region by the line and this axis so we have to evaluate the uh, area so So this is curve uh, y x uh, x square minus x cube. So y and this is uh, the curve and this is the line equation. Okay. So line equation and curve is given and show that for x is greater than zero. So show that for x is greater than zero, nine x square minus x cube is less than one zero. So we uh, are taking the derivatives of this. So on taking the derivative, it becomes d by dx is equal to zero. So d by dx is this. So this uh, is x is equal to zero and x is equal to six. So, So at x is equal to 0, the second derivative is 18 minus 6x, which is this. This is 18 minus 6, 6x, because of this, uh, we are taking differentiate of this again. Second derivative, so this is uh, at x is equal to 0 is 18, so dy by dx y is greater than 0. So, 0, 0 is the minimum. So, the minimum value at 0, 0, we have a minimum value and uh, d by dx, 18 minus 6x, 18 minus 6 into 6. This is second value. Uh, x is obtained in terms of two values. So, this is 6. So, I'm substituting 6, we have this uh, 18 minus 6, 36, that is minus 18. So, this derivative is uh, basically less than 0. So 6 comma 1 0 it is the maximum value. So on substituting this 6 value here, we will have uh, 1 0 8 that is the maximum value. So 9 it's also proved that 9 x square minus x cube is less than or equals to 1 0 8 is always less than 1 0 8. This curve never uh, reaches more than this value. So at this point, as at this point of this curve, at this point, this is minima, and at this point we have a maximum. So this is the maximum value and this is the minimum value. At this point, this point here has a minimum a maximum value, and at this point we have a minimum value. So we have solved this in this part uh, A, and let's solve this uh, area. So we have uh, this two equation, this curve and this lines. And this line is intersecting at point A. So at this point, this curve and this line is intersecting. So these are two equals. This is a curve equation. This is a line equation. And from this, we have this uh, uh, this value at this point. So zero and nine. So uh, we will find the area with uh, area 1 and area 2. So for this curve from 0 to 9, we have the if first area, area 1, 9x square minus x cube dx. And in the second, we have this points to this from 0 to 9 again with the line equation 2x minus 18 dx. And uh, we will add these two areas and 
integrate this part and integrate this part and substituting the limits from 0 to 9 and substituting these two values we have obtained on simplification we obtained this 627.8 so this is uh, question number four which is very very important this part uh, was the part of the examination uh, in years June 2012 so this is very very important so this is Uh, solve uh, question number five. Uh, the diagram shows a part of the curve y is equal to two sine three x. The normal to the curve is equal to y is equal to two sine three x at the point where x is equal to pi by nine meets the y axis. This. Yeah, here, here. At the point where x is equal to x meets the y x at point P. So at this point it meets the curve and intersect at point P. So find the coordinate of this point P. So we have to find the coordinate of this point P here. And this curve is basically this y is equal to 2 sin 3x. In the second part, find the area of the shaded region. This region, we have to find the area of this region by the curve normal and y, uh, y axis. And this is, was the part of the examination in June 2012. So, this is again very, very important part. Question number yes. We have this y is equal to this normal to the curve at point x is equal to 9 pi by 9. This is normal. Here we have this line is normal to the curve and meets the point x is equal to 9 by pi by 9 here and meets this line on the other side at y axis at point p. So we take the derivatives of this curve. So this is the slope or gradient of this curve. We obtain this 6 cos 6x at pi by 5. So dy by dx is equal to 6 uh, and uh, on substituting x pi by 9. This is uh, cos pi by 3 and so d by dx is uh, 3. And this is uh, basically this uh, gradient. And y1 is equal to at this uh, point, so 2 sine 3 pi by 9. So this is uh, 2, this is y1 is basically under root 3. And simplification, equation to the normal is y minus y1 minus 1 over m. So this is the gradient of the normal. So this was the gradient, uh, simple gradient, tangent on the curve. And this is uh, this uh, is the the gradient uh, normal gradient. So on substituting this, y1 is uh, under 3 and x1 is pi by 9. And substituting this equation, y is equal to this. This equation has been obtained at x is equal to 0. This becomes uh, pi by 27 plus under root 3 and uh, which is uh, so pi by 27 plus this and this at this x point this is 0 pi by 27 so on, sub on solving this we have this 1.85 so that p point is basically 0 comma 1.85 so this is uh, this is y value and uh, in a part b we have to find the integration area of this one so for this area we actually this is the area this slope and then we take this area 
we take this area up till here this shape and from this this white part area is subtracted we get this area that is written in this form this is the line equation and then this curve is the white part this curve this area is is here this is subtracting from the total area this area is basically this whole area and from subtracting this whole area this area white area will get this shaded area so this is simply the equation this equation is representing that shaded area and on the simplification we have obtained uh, substituting the values and we have obtained the result is this 0.304 unit square so this is the question number 5 and uh, in the next uh, uh, session we will discuss uh, uh, question number uh, 6 7 8 9 